finished another episode which you'll be pleased to hear it was fantastic as per usual however what I wanted to show you guys is that I kind of I started thinking about different things and recently I've been struggling to find a Styracosaurus asleep no matter what time of day I come past it I never really seem to um, I never really seem to be able to find it sleeping so I got to thinking and I thought well what how am I going to do it what's the best way possible to be able to do it so I decided to try a theory now the theory that I tried was what happens when you go to a dinosaur so we'll get our float out and I remembered something don't remember things very well at all on a daily basis however this time it came to me so I'm just gonna get its attention and we're gonna find its friend call so we start with three red two yellow one blue now this is to update the task of study a sleeping dinosaur now we've got our counter in the right hand corner what happens when we have to feed it we have to get it right bang in the middle then I remembered what happens if you get too nice with it so what happens when we fall below the green bar in that instance that would have been absolutely spot on to befriend a dinosaur because you're right bang in the middle of the green now wait for it my task's not going to update because it's just done it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this one and then go, go to the Gallimimus to study that because we haven't done that yet so I'm just going to give it a little soothe again so it's creeping down and would you look at that Ah, he's fell asleep how excited am I amazing so he got bored he fell to sleep I have never felt so accomplished in my entire life to figure out that you go to it and then look you click on it you studied it while it's asleep <laughs> how clever what a little sausage so I'm gonna take you back over to the Gallimimus so we go over the bridge and go and find the Gallimimus remember they keep throwing us curve balls and they're on the left hand side instead of the right now but I thought I'd just make a quick a quick link um, it's not going to be an episode because we're not doing very much for it it's just simply to show you how to complete the task of studying studying a dinosaur um, especially when they never sleep um, because obviously it's it's just one of them one of them things where it's just kind of dawned on me and I'm like wait a minute would that work and it actually did like what so yeah so we don't need we don't need any in particular I don't know where he's ran off to oh, there he is he's hiding from me don't hide from me you silly sausage there he is hey come back here you little sausage yay no yes we've got it right friend call galleys are the simplest friend call in the world um so you got red yellow blue purple so we're going to try the same thing just to confirm that it does work um, and obviously you'll see the part where it updates the task um, so again on his short video you find out how to do it in the first couple of seconds just want to show you for for confirmation on that one again right bang in the green you'd probably be able to just give it a puff in so we're going to soothe him we've soothed him enough to get him in the red category at the bottom and he's fell asleep Ah, oh, look how cute he is we bought it we bored it to sleep but that is so cute oh the other one's sleeping as well so I must have got two at once so we go over to it 
So it has woken up, but we see in the top right hand corner, quest played and we've walk, we've studied it while it's asleep. So I'm just going to go to show you. So task, task completed. Um, study a Gallimimus and study a wild. So don't forget it's wild. So it needs to be out in the wild and not your own. But study a wild Styracosaurus and a wild Gallimimus while it's asleep. We've managed to do that today by boring it to sleep. So instead of befriending it. So you've got two options. Obviously you're befriending and then obviously you're getting bored so at least we know now going forward if we need to find a wild one while it's asleep because we might come across some more studies um, that's what you need to do so just to confirm you get your flute out <laughs> you um, bore it so you soothe it until it becomes bored and then bish bash boss bosh that is it um, and that's how you soothe your dinosaurs to sleep and get a study of a wild dinosaur all right I'm going to love you and leave you again. Mwah!